Hello, 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 and happy Sunday to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your Sunday reading. Hopefully you all are having a great weekend. I know that you are because that is the intention you set. Listen, Sagittarius, the energy has already been cleared, so we're going to get right into your general reading. These are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. This is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's get into your reading. We're only a couple of days away from the full moon in Virgo. Yes. So, let's see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say. Let's go into your reading. Sagittarius. My archers, you know who I'm talking to about now. I'm talking to my great sense of humor. Sagittarius, first card under the deck is the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Hierophant card, the Star card, the Strength card, and the High Priestess. Your intuition is extremely heightened right now, right? And I see somebody feeling really happy. You know why? Because I see that you all have made some major adjustments in your lives. Um, I'm seeing somebody focusing on primarily their healing. Here we have the Star card, right? Maybe you have access to an Aquarius or you have stepped into the Aquarius room. And that energy is very healing for you. I'm also seeing the Hierophant card. So I'm seeing you happy in an organization, whether it's at work, whether it's a, a school organization, work organization, or whatever. But again, I'm seeing you really focusing on healing all those dark places. And I do see you feeling a lot happier. The beautiful thing about um, full moon energy in Virgo is that that full moon is going to allow you to go through very meticulously in your spirit and decide what stays in that last phase and what you're going to bring forward into this new phase of your life, right? So it's going to take an enormous amount of strength for somebody to really make a decision. It's almost like, okay, I'm leaving parts of me behind, but um, because I want to make room to receive other things, right? So this is what you all are receiving, the energy of more money. By now, you know what the energy, if you've been with this channel for quite some time, you know what the energy of money means. It's not just in the form of coins. We know it's a shortage of coins and money as you know it, the paper money and the coins are eventually going to go away. So we're in a digital age, but the energy of money is following you. So whatever the value of that is, is following you, right? Get into it and get excited. So again, continue speaking things into existence. The energy of money can include somebody giving you a ride somewhere where you don't have to pay your money to catch a bus or train or Uber or Lyft or some kind of transportation, use some kind of transportation service. It could be somebody buying groceries for you, you know, where you don't have to dig in your pocket and buy use your 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 um, income to buy groceries. It can be somebody your apartment complex or your mortgage company saying, Hey, you get a free month of whatever. Again, that's the energy of money. You know, somebody could hit the lottery and give you money, whatever it is, or somebody can just pay for things for you. Again, that's the energy of money, or you could receive a raise at work. But I do see somebody in this case receiving a raise at work, and somebody has been waiting on some kind of an increase at work. And so congratulations to you, Sagittarius, but that is also the energy of money. So I do see somebody in the posture of gratitude, but I'm going to tell you why it happened for you. It happened for you because you had to make room, right? You had to make room. And for somebody, you had to leave behind some very painful memories, memories of people who stabbed you in the back, ran smear campaigns, all of those things. You really had to come to terms with just leaving all those energies behind, right? Um, and so for somebody, they feel like they're all alone, but you're not. This is the Ten of Swords, but you're not all alone. See, uh, see all these ancestors here, right here? They're ushering you to the next level. So what somebody's learning through this process is that all you have to do is, um, all you have to do is in your mind realize that when I'm asking for something, I gotta reevaluate my entire life and decide what do I need to sacrifice in order to have this. So for example, if I want to, if I want to raise at work, right? You may have to sacrifice talking to people, standing in cubicles, staying on the phone extra long, um, sacrifice certain things that you were doing in the past. You may have to leave certain things in the past so that you can focus on looking at maybe your um, 
your assessment, your last assessment from your manager and say, okay, well, these are my expectations. Let me go ahead and meet those expectations, but let me take it a step further. Let me start speaking up for myself and being a lot more assertive instead of just sitting there just saying, okay, well, whatever they give me is whatever I'll take, right? I guess that's what I deserve. So somebody was more assertive, but again, you had to push some things to the side so that you can come out of that comfort zone, right? You all are very smart. You're very caring. You all are deep thinkers. You love to have fun. You all are generous and you're idealists, right? You're archers. So you're the I see sign. Whenever you see something and you point that arrow, boom, I'm going at, that's what I'm going after. I see it already in the spirit. So I do see somebody expecting something greater to happen. And that's also what, it ha what happens too, is that your expectations start to change. Hey, I expect to get more money. That's right. So open your mouth and say it, right? Somebody had childlike faith. Here's the six of cups. Somebody had childlike faith. They said, I know I can feel something big is about to happen. I can feel myself about to get a raise. And for those of you who are waiting on the raise, again, congratulations. I already see it in your cards, right? But again, it's taking childlike faith. I see somebody looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. So again, and I'm seeing justice in your favor. So here's a couple of scenarios here. So one of this, if you have a court date coming up, one, congratulations. I do see you winning and I see money coming your way, but I'm also seeing um, somebody could have a case against their own job, you know, where they actually win the case and you receive money and now you're looking for a new job. So there's a lot of things, a lot of different scenarios going on here. But again, childlike faith, leave some things behind where you were hurt, you know, by people who ran smear campaigns and did all kinds of stuff to um, ruin your name, ruin your character, defamation right but that's what i'm seeing for you all sagittarius very very nice but nevertheless the energy of money is looking for you it is it is attracted to you so get in that posture of gratitude so however the money comes across to you i see somebody feeling very happy i see somebody feeling very free i see somebody tapped into their childlike um faith you know how you go back to the days and you put your little hands together and you start praying for stuff and your eyes clench together real tight that kind of prayer, like real focus. Here we have the Six of Cups again on both cards. So again, somebody's going back to the basics. Somebody's doing something that's very nostalgic to them. They're really just kind of sort of really believing. They're having this, they're taking this faith walk, really believing that they're going to receive more money. And so again, congratulations to you all, Sagittarius. I love it, love it, love it. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it going, Sagittarius. Let's keep it going. This card flipped out of the deck, so we're going to go with this card. I am free from limitations. I love it, love it, love it. That's right. Just take a screenshot of that. And like attracts like. Love awakens the soul. Something about walking away from um, somebody or something that hurt you and kept you in this, this place of frustration after being stabbed in the back, after being people laughing and running smear campaigns and that kind of thing. Something about keeping your head up and keeping a very positive attitude in the face of adversity. Yes, let's see what else these cards have to say. These are self, the sacred self-care oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Look for fairies. Somebody is going to be very, very happy because, again, this is something that you're not really expecting. You're like, you know how you kind of halfway like know something good is about to happen for you, but you're like, mm, okay, I'm... If it happens, I'll, I'll be happy. But if it doesn't happen, I'll be okay with that too. You know, that kind of energy. So that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing here. For, so I need you all to at least tap into that baby faith, right? That faith of just like, I just, I feel like something good is going to happen. Despite everything I see around me, I just feel like something good is going to happen for me. But remember, your ruling planet is Jupiter. That's the, Ju Jupiter, that's the planet of expansion. Show the world the real you. You may have Aquarius in your chart or you may be influenced by an Aquarius. But nevertheless, like I said, you um, you have a lot of things in your favor. So kudos to you, Sagittarius, and congratulations to somebody who, like I said, um, is getting money soon. That's what I have for you. Have a great weekend. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you set. Bye.